This is Ed Templeton's skateboard. This is Ed Templeton's paintbrush. This is Ed Templeton's wife. Hey. <laughs> this is what Ed Templeton sees when he sits at his desk. This is a film about Ed Templeton, the skateboarder. Ed Templeton had no idea this film would be narrated by me, Steve Olson. That's cool. I feel like I'm uh, morphing into the Steve Olson phase of my life right now. <laughs> Ed Templeton has been called the Rajat of modern skateboarding, a master of the impossible, a surrealist for the high water age. He started companies. He's brought new tricks to the streets and brought existing tricks to bigger obstacles. He's made paintings. He's shot photos. He's been a world champion. Just dusty hunks of plastic rotting away in here. Ed Templeton is notorious for painting nudes and taking nude photos. I'll put up, uh, you know, a hundred photos in a show in a big cluster, but then the only thing people talk about is the two photos in that giant cluster that have a boner in it or something. He's recognized as an international acclaimed artist. In 2000, Ed Templeton broke his neck while skating Germany. Actually, it was in Switzerland, Lausanne, Switzerland, when I broke my neck. I, had gone 15 years of skateboarding without breaking a bone, although unofficially I probably broke my wrist a few times. If Ed Templeton were known for one trick, it would probably be... Probably impossible, I guess, I don't know. Ed Templeton has had over 16 solo video parts. <laughs> Toy Machine is a limitless vehicle for Ed's creativity. My whole life as an artist was spurned from the idea of finding out that Chris Miller, Neil Blender, and Mark Gonzalez did their own graphics. Ed's awards and honors include the first published photo of a 50-50 on a handrail, chair to the Ed Haters Club of Big Brother Magazine fame, and being listed as number 20 on the TWS Most Influential Skateboarders list in 2012. Go on. <laughs> I don't know what to respond to that. <laughs> in 100 years, Ed Templeton suspects he will be best remembered as... 100 years? Think about that. Nobody will remember me, any of us. It's kind of sad to think about. I mean, maybe there might be some obscure art book collector who has a book of mine still or something. This is Ed Templeton's Prius. This is Ed's favorite camera. This is Ed brushing his hair. Straight back, Steve Olsen style. This is Ed's favorite movie. Ghost World. This is Ed brushing his teeth. This is Ed taking a leap. This is Ed's library. This is Ed Templeton's collection of old skate stickers. Ed Templeton walks to Huntington Beach Pier once a day to shoot an Instagram photo. This one's a classic. Girl shooting an ass selfie, laying on top of her boyfriend. In 1985, Ed Templeton saw a stranger ollie up a curb and started skateboarding. Yeah, I knew I had to stop, pick up my board, put it back down and keep going to go up a curb. And, and I just wanted to be able to do it save time basically. Laziness is why I started. <laughs> I wanted to save time. <laughs> in 1987, he and some friends followed Mark Gonzalez home to his house and watched him skate a quarter pipe. It's just me and the gun skating this quarter pipe. I would like do a kick turn and then he would like blast a judo air. And I was like, whoa, look at this guy. You know, but I didn't really know, who, like I didn't, you know, the novelty wasn't like, oh my God, he's a pro, I should be in awe. I was just like, that guy's really good. Ed Templeton was born and raised in Orange County, California. Growing up in Huntington Beach, you either surfed or skated. Another former resident was Jason Lee. If he learned something, I'd be so pissed and I'd have to learn it and vice versa. Like I would learn a new trick, I'd be like, check this out. He'd be like, wah, and like just drill it to learn it because we both wanted to like be at the same, like it would kill us if one of us was like starting to like be better than the other one. Ed and Jason would repurpose tricks created by the freestylers like Hans Lingren and Don Brown and take them downstairs and onto benches using their street boards. Yeah, it was like, it almost started as a joke. You know, like, let's, let's fuck around and do freestyle tricks on our street boards. After stints with Circle A and Smith Stick, Ed turned pro for Smith Stick's 1990 reboot called The New Deal. Ed decided to draw his very first pro graphic and the rest is history. In 1992, Ed Templeton decided to start his own company with Mike Vallely called TV. Which in his head was Templeton Valley, but I never wanted to name a company after my own name, so in my head it was television. It didn't last very long. After the departure of Vallely, Ed launched Toy Machine Skateboards in 1993. And then I was like also starting to think already, like what am I gonna do after skateboarding? You know, and it's like, so the, the quick answer was 
if you have a company, then you're always, you're always involved in the thing that you love doing. So I was like, I love this. I want to be able to do this forever. Ed's always had a knack for talent scouting. You know, I, I can't explain it. Honestly, I think it's just giving people a chance a lot of times. I'd see someone and look for that underdog quality to him, I guess, you know? Ed once said the most influential skateboarder for him growing up was not Mark Gonzalez, but Don Brown? Who, me? That's a true statement. Ed Templeton has a massive photo collection of teenagers smoking. In 2000, his book of photos won the Italian Search for Art competition. This was in 99, I think, this book came out. This really small book that has since become some weird, rare book. I mean, people pay $500 for this thing now. It's, it's completely stupid. He has since released another called Teenage Kissers. In 1996, Ed Templeton and Toy Machine released one of the most influential videos of all time titled Welcome to Hell. For skaters such as myself who don't jump downstairs, the title was literal. Collectors of Ed's artwork include Demi Moore, John Waters, Neil Patrick Harris, and Judd Apatow, who wanted a family portrait painted by Ed. That's all sort of true, I think. I mean, the Apatow one is true and I kind of waffled on it, partly because I was kind of freaked out and scared. On November 3rd, 2012, Ed shattered his tibia and fibula at an America demo in East LA. He hasn't felt 100% since. The doctor said that I wouldn't even be able to skate again, and that's not true. I've been able to skate and roll around, and then as long as I can do that, then I'm, I'm happy. As long as I can still smith a, smith a ramp here and there, and tail slide or nose on a bank here and there, then I think I'll be happy. Ed Templeton has influenced an entire generation with his style, innovation, and creativity. Ed Templeton believes every young skateboarder should know three things. Think fast, skate faster, and don't look back. This is Ed Templeton skating away. Thanks, Ed.